Once again, I so wanted to talk about Occupy Wall Street, but CNN tells me it's not happening. There is no such thing as Occupy Wall Street. Otherwise, they would have run coverage on it. See, I still believe in CNN. So, we move on to the other real news. Lady Gaga has a new boyfriend. Taylor Kinney. That's it, that's the joke! We tried finding out picture of Taylor and this is the only one we could find. <laughs> okay, and here's a picture of them kissing each other, rather picture after they kissed each other. <laughs> Look, even this alien looks scared after kissing Gaga. <laughs> Okay, listen to this. Reebok International has decided to refund US customers $25 million for easy tone shoes. They said that using these tones will give you a nice butt. Nice ass. What you thought was this? Okay. This was before wearing Reebok and this is after wearing Reebok. JLO type ass. But what they actually meant was this. What an ass! Or rather Reebok! What an asshole! <laughs> Justin Bieber joins the new hip-hop trend. Wearing women's clothes. We have exclusive pictures of Justin in some trendy clothes. <laughs> really, right? Justin looks really hot in these new clothes. More than hot looks very comfortable. He has finally found the right clothes. <laughs> okay, Spanish singer Enrique Iglesias will appear on Cityville. Yeah, the popular game on Facebook. And I think this is the last time we can call it a popular game. <laughs> because after Enrique endorses it, it will just go the Anna Kornikova way. <laughs> According to health.com, I am too tired is one of the most common excuses used by people in their everyday life to avoid sex. <laughs> the excuses falling uh, next in line are, uh, I don't have the time and I have a headache. It's not people, uh, you dumb website, only women. Only women can have excuses for not having sex. <laughs> for us men, the excuses run a different course or intercourse, whatever. I'm too tired, let's have sex and refresh ourselves. I don't have time, so let's do a quickie in 28 seconds. I have a really bad headache. I just ordered a few dozen aspirins, so let's have sex till Walgreens delivers them. <laughs> you see, everything boils down to sex for us. According to a research, women think more about food. Yeah, then they do about sex. And put much more effort into dieting. And their looks, uh, rather in dieting and their looks, than their relationships. And then they end up looking like this. Okay, here is some food for thought. Sexting leads to unsafe sex. Uh, well, uh, the disturbing thing is I read this on some Arab, Arab website, Arab. I never knew camels could send text messages on mobile. I mean, no one in America could do SMS for 40 years. <laughs> if you are a teenager in Florida, then God save you. I know you already are pretty <laughs> up. But now we have one more reason to kill yourself. Teen sexting is illegal in Florida. This new law bans teens from sending nude or racy uh, photos to each other by phone. You can continue to send all your sexy stuff via pigeons. If you do, however, send a sext. Sext. The first offense is a non-criminal violation punishable by eight hours of community service or a $60 fine. Uh, teenagers have just one question to uh, the authorities in Florida. How much does the monthly sexting pass cost? Okay. From sex jokes, uh, let's uh, move on to uh, more, you know, like Berlusconi in China. For oh, more sex jokes? Okay. Sex scandals have strained relations between uh, Silvio Berlusconi and the church to a breaking point. But the Vatican has not managed to find a viable Christian democratic candidate to support. Really? 
I don't know who has more sex scandals, Berlusconi or the Vatican priests. <laughs> and the striking similarity between them, both like to have sex with underage kids. Again, really? Are there overage kids? <laughs> really? Enough of sex talk, okay? And sex jokes. Now let's move on to something which will take your mind off sex. Halloween. <laughs> Halloween my, is my favorite festival. Understandably. Which other festival celebrates freaks? Like me. <laughs> it's also a day when you dress up as some other freak and get candies. <laughs> so this year on Halloween, I'm going up dressed as Charlie Sheen. <laughs> and if people don't give me candies, then I'll just have sex with their wives and daughters. Wives or daughters. Sorry, sorry. Without their permission, of course. Yeah, baby. Treat or I will turn tricks. Dirty tricks. <laughs> Halloween is nothing without costumes. So here are this year's top five Halloween costumes. Become these and you can scare the shit out of good folks everywhere. <laughs> Number five, Lindsay Lohan. All you need is an orange face and a VD. That is a venereal disease. Number four, Hillary Clinton. All you need is an expressionless face and a cheap looking pantsuit. That's it. You are ready to be Hillary. <laughs> Number three, Uncle Sam. All you will need is this uniform and a begging bowl. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Number two, get this boring navy blue suit. <laughs> get this leather bag. Then you just walk up to any home and introduce yourself. Hello, I'm from Bank of America. Everyone will faint. Nobody wants to see a bank guy on the door ever again. <laughs> BOA is scarier than a BOA, like a boa constrictor. <laughs> and number one. Okay, the number one scary get up this Halloween is this. <laughs> get this mask because Joe Biden's mask is off. He's turning into George Bush faster than Bush could count to 10. <laughs> if these don't scare people, try the product we are about to show you in our segment. In our next segment, rather. <laughs> Bye, Jack.